Hi, I'm Laughing Woman, and I'm going to do a reading here to tell you some things that will help you make this coming week one that is a pure delight in your life. Well, this is a week that is all full of spirit and emotion. I find it very interesting that we have every other card in here. We have emotion, spirit, emotion, spirit, emotion, spirit. I'm sorry, emotion, spirit, emotion, spirit, emotion. Um, that tells me that this week is going to be a time period where we're feeling much more than we're thinking, much more than we're doing, perhaps. And it's a time when things can be a little bit tender. We can feel a little bit vulnerable. We're not completely grounded in the practicalities of life. Um, we're also more at the heart than we are sometimes. And that's a wonderful, wonderful place to be. And often in our culture, we aren't there. And so it can feel a little strange when we have a week where this is such a dominant energy. So the way I'd like you to start your week is to celebrate. Celebrate your life. Celebrate the good things in your world. There's a lot of other times when we can worry about the things that aren't working. But start this week out by just being excited about the things that really do work in your life. It's important also that you take time to really look at the details of your life this week. Now that is a spiritual energy, so I'm not saying sit down and balance the checkbook and make sure that you've crossed the T's and dotted the I's and all kinds of things. What I'm saying is look deep within yourself. Look and see where things may feel like they're a little out of place in you, where something's missing or something more could be added. Pay attention to those inner details that when they're all in place, make the outer world so much more enjoyable. This is also a week for you to tap into your idealism. When you imagine the perfectness of being human, or the perfection that this world could be, or the perfection in your own life, what does that look like? You don't need to do anything about it this week, but let yourself see it and feel it and really get a handle on that idealism. This is a good week to dream. Spend time sleeping deep and long if you have the time to do that. Daydream if there's not time to really have long sleeps at night. Keep a dream journal this week if you're inclined to. And let yourself just be in that place that's between waking and sleeping where your mind can have a free flow and really, really turn itself loose. This isn't meditation. This is just let your mind find its place to wander. This is also a week to pay attention to your history. Pay attention to history in general. There's a lot of things to be seen there that can bring joy to the heart. Let yourself explore those. So in summary for this week, really coming from the heart, feeling very, very deeply, knowing that our heart and our soul are connected and always will be and always have been. Have a wonderful week this week.